El nino ya kwanza ile ilikuja yenye tuliona iko na madara yake kwa sababu katika barabara ilikuwa alami barabara ilikatika chakula pia ilikosekana mali pia kucha silitoka toka kwa sababu ya maji mengi usiku na mchana mvua ilikuwa inanyesha hata kuna vile mtafanya kasi maharage ikaribika kwa shamba mahindi ikiwa ina imemea ile ingine inataka kukauka ingine tena hiyo tu inaasa kumea tena kwa nini kwa ikiwa kwa shamba tu so iko na madhara yake kama hiyo unajua wakati ya mvua kama hiyo ikinyesha kileta maji hata mgonjwa inaanza kuwa mingi na hata hiyo watu waangalie ili wasi hata kama ni wanyama watakunywa maji wasipatie tu wakunywa maji kila pahali lazima waangalie ni ile pahali ambayo unajua eh, at least sio ile maji imetoka pahali nyingine imekuja kusanyika pahali moja ndio sasa wewe unapeleka mvuko yako huko pengine ile maji yamebeba mgonjwa kutoka sehemu nyingine ameleta hapa wewe unaenda kupatia mali yako sitakuwa umepoteza mifuko yako uh, quite a good number of areas have been reporting uh, inaccessibility of the roads uh, some losses of life few livestock in some pocket of areas like Dukana uh, was reported uh, in Shura it was reported there was a flood which carried off some livestock and uh, in the part of uh, Lesem sub county uh, Namare uh, Farakoren uh, uh, Ngurnet those axes quite good numbers of uh, centers cannot be accessed because of the current uh, situation at hand. Even in Marsabit North, that is North or South County, um, huge pocket of areas cannot access, uh, cannot be accessed because of the weather and because of the flood and because of, uh, I mean, rain which has been uh, received. Of course, it's a good blessing, but it has also some, uh, in this case also, where people are still uh, lamenting that uh, they are not getting food, you know, uh, normal transportation is not there. Uh, of course, livestock are also getting uh, exhausted because of excessive rain. Some flash fl uh, flood has really carried off some livestock and the homestead have been destroyed. You know, there are huge reports, but in terms of figures, we are yet to get uh, these numbers. But in some areas already, they have reported numbers of people. You know, if you don't access uh, social amenities, meaning you don't access facilities, uh, I'm sure uh, if we look at pocket of areas that I have mentioned, even within Marseille Starco Sub County, as we speak, some of the areas cannot be accessed. It's hardly that you can get to to, to some pockets of uh, five large areas within Starco also. Uh, of course, uh, to date, uh, we still we are together official uh, reports on the status of different uh, areas within Marseille County affected by this uh, current uh, season. Uh, but from the information gathered, uh, so far, on the onset of the, of the rain, quite some livestock, the remaining few livestock after the drought, after the severe drought of the, for the last three year, four years, has really hampered uh, uh, the status of livelihood of this community. And basically, the community depend on uh, communities depend on livestock. Eighty percent of livelihood is driven from livestock product. So most of this livestock, neither uh, of them was spared during the last drought. Uh, the official uh, figures are yet to be confirmed, but they said sixty percent of the camels are gone, eighty percent of small stock sheep and goats are gone, ninety percent of the cattle are gone. So meaning, livelihood has really being taken to toll by the drought which put this county at almost IPC4. People are affected already so far we have we've been told that uh, uh, two lives have been claimed one in Saku and one in uh, Lesemisa County Logloho. An old man of 70 years uh, was carried off by flood. Uh, so to this uh, there are of course some small, small report here and there but much we shall gather once we get an uh, assessment report, which we have uh, set on last week, and the report will be ready today for sharing uh, through County Steering Group. This report will, be, will bring us to specifics 
areas affected unaona elino alikuwa alikuwa na madhara kubwa sana unajua elino hiyo siku ile ananyesha baada ya konyuma ameleta madhara ya mbusi sana si ngamia au ngombe hiyo mbusi alikuwa na hara anakufa ukichinjwa hiyo nyama yake anakaa kama yolo tuji sasa ni ugonjwa gani unajua sisi ufugaji atuji ugonjwa gani na watu kupata kitu anaitwa daktari apime nini pile ngangana mpaka hiyo mbusi ana hara nini unaona kamasi iko naye mpaka aka hiyo mbusi amekusha wakakuwa wengine hata alibaki kama 15 nini hapa hapa kwetu kidogo mbusi kadhaa alibaki lakini sasa unajua mvua ki akikuja Mwenyezi Mungu ndiye anajua tena saidi sababu yake unajua sangine hata tunasema elina anakuja na sangine mvua ananyesha kama ya jusi mala ananona hakuna kitu sasa unajua hewa ndio nachuma na unajua hewa anabadilika kila saa hata tuji sana lakini tutajikinga kwa ajili kwa laga unajua watu sangine na anaishi ndani ya laga maji yanatiririka anachukua mali hata hiyo ni mbaya watu kama sasa kutoka sasa atoka kwa laga kwa ajili sasa wanasemekana laga analeta madhara kubwa sana na na unajua sasa hii sisi marsa vitapa unajua sisi hatuna si kama dasa tuko chini sana lakini sisi tunaogopa tu laga peke yake unajua hii pale the same namna hii mmoja awe chukua mtu lakini mimi naambia watu wetu atoka kwa laga kutoka leo asonge kwa laga sasa achunga mali yao mzuri hii kidogo juice amebaki tena elina sichukue eh mimi nasema hizo wasema kule logo logo umejionea Uh, wakati tulipoteza maisha ya mzee mmoja na vile vile uh, tulipoteza mtu mmoja hapa town pia uh, tangu wakati huo sehemu kadhaa imeadhirika <coughs> barabara ya kwenda kargi imekatika kutoka logo logo kuelekea kule core imekatika vile vile kutoka la Isamis kuelekea kule imekatika. Pande hii ingine uh, sehemu yote hapo Chalbi kutoka Turbi kuelekea Furole kule kutoka la Baikona hadi Kalacha kila mali. Uh, highway to peke ndio inapitika. On this other side watu wa Badalarero, watu wa Ambalo watu wa elebora na sehemu zingine kule hakuna barabara ya kupitia haipitiki hapa shur hakuna barabara ya kuelekea kule na sehemu hizo nimetaja yote manyumba kada wa kada zimearibiwa katika tao nenyewe nyinyi wenyewe mnajionea uh, hapa sagante hii rural areas yote barabara imeharibiwa em um, sehemu hizo nimetaja yote uh, sehemu zingine ni mabarabara sehemu zingine ma, manyumba familia imeadhiriwa ah manyumba zimeharibiwa cha, chakula bidhaa yao lakini tuki wote respecta wetu wakituma ripoti na bado inaendelea na inaendelea so hatuwezi kusema uh, kwa sasa kwa sababu hata jana usiku kuna sehemu zingine imenyesha zaidi right na hata saa hii mnaona vile tuko hapa saa hii naweza kuonyesha any time so ikikoma tu kidogo ndio tunaweza kusema in total but all those areas i've mentioned and a, and, and a few others have not listed here are all affected. Kwa hivyo shida hii ni kubwa na tunajaribu kiasi ile tunaweza wale wamekuwa makao zao zimeharibika na chakula yao zimeharibiwa tume tumeweza kuwapatia chakula na tunaendelea na hiyo mpango sehemu ile hatukufikia bado uh, tutajaribu kuwafikia kuna sehemu zingine hatuwezi kuwafikia kwa sababu barabara haziko na sehemu kama hizo tutaweka chakula sehemu karibu ili waweze 
hata kutembea hao wenyewe kujishughulikia um, tumeongea na serikali kuu pia wao uh, vile vile wajaribu kutusaidia uh, ili tushirikiane katika hiyo harakati ya kusaidia wananchi tunawashukuru vile mliona logo logo pia walitupatia blanketi chakula watu wa red cross na wengine e, tunaendelea kushughulika i mean kushirikiana na hao e, kwa sasa serikali inafanya hivyo lakini vile nimetangaza wakati ule county assembly of marsabit pia inajiandaa kujadiliana juu ya uh, ile msaada tunaweza kusaidia watu wetu kuangalia through supplementary budget e, kiasi gani tunaweza kushughulikia maneno ya barabara na chakula hizo tunasema inahitaji rasilimali serikali kuu naye kwa sababu hii chopa ya kawaida hata ikikuja haina usaidizi ikibeba labda gunia moja naweza kupata kupeleka sukari like what we did sometimes back because of not having any alternative ikiendelea namna hiyo tumesema tumepiga hiyo report na tumeomba usaidizi so that labda ile iko na capacity kubwa iweze kutusaidia ni kweli kuna haja lazima tuwashughulikie